The machine catalog has had some great new features added to it for version 6. Let's dive right into the catalog to check them out. The first feature is a new label format feature that allows for easier file management of part files. So, making sure that we are working with a part router, we'll select the Setup tab and then filter the properties for label format. Now we can see the new feature, the Match Program setting. As you can see by the illustration, this feature will take two or more parts that are identical and create a single program file for them instead of multiple programs for each part. The next new feature can be found in the IntelliCAM properties, so let's just click on that group, then scroll down to the Tool Movement Property group, and we can see it here. Starting with version 6, we can specify whether or not a machine can use sloping lead-ins and outs by just changing this option here. The next feature has to do with spoil boards, so let's just change to a sheet router to check that out. Then we just need to go back to the Setup tab and go to the Restrictions Property group. And right away we can see the new feature, the Spoilboard Z Breach Value. What this allows you to do is define a threshold value for Z-level checking. This will help to ensure that your tool doesn't breach into your spoilboard too deeply. A singular but time-saving feature has been added to the S2M Center's Material Catalog. Let's go into the Material Catalog to check it out. Now that we're here, we can see that I have a lot of materials in my Material Catalog. These were all imported from Cabinet Vision. The feature is the new button here, the Setup Banding Indicators button. What this allows us to do is specify materials to banding indicators. We just need to click on the box here to pull up a list of the materials that we have predefined in the Material Catalog and select what material is equal to what banding indicator. Finally, we can get to the Tool Catalog. For version 6, we've added the ability to include two additional tool types. Let's go create a new tool to check this out. We can see here and here the new tools, a V router bit and a 5-axis saw. Let's start this off by creating a new 5-axis saw. As you can see, we have several properties that allow us to define how this tool works. Going over these properties is outside of the scope of this video, so go ahead and take a look at your help files for version 6 to learn what these properties are and how to set them. To see the properties of the V router bit, let's make another new tool and select V router bit. Once again, we can see that I have a bunch of properties to set here. And once again, I'm going to point you to your version 6 help files for the definitions of all of these properties. Now, what's the point of these new tools, though? Well, it's not just to have them there. Rather, these new tools were added to allow the S2M Center the ability to properly cut miters in both the 4.5 axis machines, in the case of the saw tool, and the 2.5 axis machines, in the case of the V router bit. And now I would like to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of the S2M Center. If you would like more information on the S2M Center, please visit our website at www.screentomachine.com.